There's my feet. I have a theme of showing my feet. Oh, gross. Uh, rude. I just- Some people find feet sexy. Feet make me so uncomfortable for that exact reason. <laughs> and also just because they're kind of ugly, but feet make me uncomfortable. Look at your feet. I need everyone to look at their feet right now. We both have socks on. Pretend you're actually looking at feet. <laughs> and pretend that they're hands. Why? It makes feet creepier. I don't like that. <laughs> This might be a superficial question, but when you picture yourself having like a big production like performance, what, mm -hmm. do, what do you envision? Like, do you have a specific performance that you're like excited to be able to do? Or is it more what about was like, that noise? <laughs> like a specific like, oh, I want to have like a dance number and I want confetti and I want like this and that. Oh, my friend, you gotta have <laughs> confetti. Like, come on. Uh -huh. I had confetti at the tour I did opening for Dodie last October, uh -huh. just like a handheld, like, uh -huh. <laughs> Uh, and we did it at the end of Not Over You, and it was uh -huh. always so satisfying. But it was so small, you just get like the first like four <laughs> like rows of people. Like, yeah, fun. I definitely want confetti. Mm -hmm. um, a light show is Ooh. really my next go. But you know, it's all expensive, and yeah. it's it doesn't make sense to do it if you're if you don't have the audience coming out to see you. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm for me, I'm trying to just figure out like how can I get more people to hear my music and not necessarily how can I convince more people to like it because I just feel like the people who hear it and like it will be the people who hear it and like it and people who hear it and don't like it that's fine too so it's just about trying to figure out how to get people to hear it <laughs> I don't know I wanted to be an architect for a while and then I wanted to be like what did I want to be I wanted to be an actor but then I changed my mind and now I want to I want to be something behind the scenes in film but I'm not sure what and I'm just I think I'm scared to have a goal because I'm I'm scared that I'll put loads of work in and get really close and then decide I don't want to do it anymore and pick something else mm. that's like oh, my biggest fear I'm gonna I'm gonna waste my life on something that I ultimately will end up not caring about Interesting. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh boy <laughs> you're so young I know you're so young and I'm very aware of that as well mm -hmm. So in know, a good way or a bad way? I think both. Like sometimes I feel I feel young compared to people who are my age. Like mm. I feel like I present myself and I see myself as very young, which I think makes it harder for people to like see me as a peer and like take me seriously. But also I feel very young in that I have like my entire life ahead of me. So it feels very like I don't have to worry about my entire career right this second because I'm 18. Like it's fine. But I don't know, yeah. I don't do enough, like, performancey stuff. I have had, like, one gig, mm -hmm. and it was very small, and it was somewhere where, like, people kind of already were. They were there eating, and I came and, like, disrupted their evening with <laughs> singing. But I really want to do more gigs, because they seem so fun. I brought up Sitsi because I was wondering if you might perform at Sitsi. Mm, well... Or sign up for the open mic. The open mic was really, like... It was more of a closed mic last year. It was like, yeah. there were like three hours where it was an open mic and you had to show up like immediately on the first day to get a slot. And like, I'm not about that. I don't want to have to like run and queue and like sign up and like be desperate to perform. Yeah. Why? Because I feel like if it's, if it's such a hard thing to get on stage and then you are there, it's more of a big deal than if you were like, Oh, I'm just gonna go over and do the open mic. That'll be fun. Like mm. it's more of, a, if I'm up there and it's a big deal, people are going to, be like expecting something that mm. I cannot provide because I'm not that good. So I don't know. If it was more relaxed, then like if it is more relaxed this year, then I probably will. I want to because I I really want to get more practice in with performing. Pract uh, performing is its own skill, mm. which you can only acquire from practicing. Indeed. I always used to be that girl that sang in assemblies. Did you have that in America? Like, no. Do you, did you have assemblies? Like a school assembly? Yeah. Yeah, we had music and drama before. <laughs> Our like music and drama um, department was very big on like having people performing all the time. Um, so as people were walking into assembly, they would have people performing, <gasps> and I always used, like I was that one that was always there like singing like with a a backing track like yeah. <laughs> did you do one hand up? I did. They had it on like a, a stand, mm -hmm. and I was always too awkward to. I I would stand there completely still with my hands on the on the mic stand like this, Aww, and just Zana. sing and be really scared. I might. I might have a photo of that somewhere. I'll try and find it. Ooh, oh boy. That's where I made my name. Big old performer me. <laughs> you 
You are a big old performer. Yeah. I used to have the biggest crush on Tom Felton and then there was one shot in Harry Potter where they showed his feet coming off a bed and I was over it. Really? Yeah, <laughs> that, was, that was it for me. I was like, Who's Tom no. Felton? He's the one that played Draco. Woof. <laughs> <laughs> I look really pale. It's almost like you are really pale. <laughs>